Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, we are doing my first update on my pan. Which one are we doing? <laughs> we are doing my first update on my Partners in Cream Project Pan for 2022. I have had a pretty successful month. I am rolling out three products this month. So I've had a very successful month. This project was created by Steph Lyons and Delin from Outward Processing. So this is a global collaboration. If you do want to binge watch anyone else's project pan, you can click the hashtag down below. It will take you over to where everyone's project panning videos are. But the whole premise of this project is that you focus on cream products and cream products only because cream products tend to go bad a lot quicker. The formula is not as stable as uh, powder products. So I'm trying to get some use out of the cream products in our collections. Each month this year, I'm going to be setting myself usage goals and I'm going to be grabbing out like different bits and pieces from my collection in certain categories and focusing on them in the attempt to just try and get some use out of like different categories in my collection. If you are new around here and you wanna keep up to date on this project and all my other project panning uh, things that I'm doing this year, I hope you consider subscribing down below. And without further ado, let's go on in to the update. Um, let's start off with the product that I didn't do very well with this past month, and that is my Mecca blush stick. This is the blush stick in the color Pinch. Uh, I only use this one three times, and my goal is to use it 20 times, so I do need to up my game a little bit on this one um, if I'm going to see me rotating in a new one anytime soon. So. I'm gonna keep on going. Uh, when I have used this, I've used it like under uh, powder blushes. So I've used this as kind of like a base color for uh, blushes and then set my face with powder, gone over the top of it with a uh, powder blush. Just the looks I've been wearing lately have not really been the best to pair with this color by itself. So I've been pairing it with other stuff, kind of mixing it a little bit when it comes to uh, using this one. We also have my Too Faced Glitter Glue, and I know this is going to be a long-term product, but I think I only used this one once and only like the really tiniest little bit. So I'm going to keep this one in. I probably will keep this one in for most of the year, I think, just to try and get some more use out of it. Uh, this one is getting on like quite old in years, so I would like to make some really good progress on it and maybe even potentially use it up this year. I think that's a very uh, bold goal. <laughs> But we'll see how we go, even if I can at least maybe get half of what I've got in here done or something like that. I think that would be uh, a, a good goal to achieve for. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I hardly ever use that one, so it's a little bit difficult. Uh, then the last one that I need to update you on is my Fenty Cream Bronzer. This is in the color Amber. And I have been like focusing up in the corner here. Uh, so it is starting to get a really small dip going in there. And I have used this one 18 times. My goal on this one is to use it 50 times. I thought that I would be closer to 50 than I am this month, but I have had a lot of days when I would normally be wearing makeup not wearing makeup. I've been working from home a couple of days this past month and on those days I've either worn like really bare minimum makeup or no makeup. So ordinarily I would be wearing this like at least 20 times in one month but this past month I've, there's been a few days I've just gone without. So hopefully this next month I can get this up to maybe the mid 30s, close to 40, maybe even past 40. That would be really, um, really good. We'll see, we'll see, I'll keep you updated, I'll keep you updated. So we're sitting at 18 uses on that one and as I said, there is a bit of a dip starting to show on that one as well. Um, next are all my products that I have met my goal. So the remainder of the products, the remainder of the products, I set myself a really low achievable goal because the products in each of these categories, there's quite a lot. So I want to rotate and really, I'm, I'm serious when I say this, I really want to rotate through a lot of those products uh, throughout uh, 2022. So the way I'm going, I think that I will at least be able to get some use on at least like 12 different products in each of these categories. So I think that's I think that's a good way to go. I think that's a good way to go. So I only set myself five uses, like a five usage goal on each of these. So as I said, very low, but also very obtainable. 
we'll start off with my uh, steel magnificent metal because I think this is the first one that I hit. I actually hit this one really easily. I thought that it would be a lot harder to hit my five usage goal on this one, but I flew through this one. I think the thing that really helped me with this one this past month was that it paired so well with my shadows that I have in my pen that pen those eyeshadow series. So I was pairing this with the uh, the Fenty shadow that I have, the one that I'm actually wearing on my outer corner today. So it's like a really deep purple. So I paired it with that and I also paired it with um, my other shadow that I have from my Marc Jacobs shadow. It's like a bit of a shimmer. So I would put this on like the really inner corner. It paired perfectly. It looked so beautiful with it. So I managed to get my five uses very easily, very quickly on this one. So that's that one. And then I have my lip liner. Now this was the Nabla Close Up Liner in the color Nude One. Again, I did manage to get this one done pretty quickly with my five uses. I did sharpen this, I wanna say maybe like two or three times because it is quite a creamy formula. So to wear the tip down to the point where you need to sharpen it, it was quite easy. It was quite easy. It's a nice color. It's a comfortable formula. I don't think I would repurchase it, but I will enjoy it while I have it in my collection. And I will probably come back to this at some point because the lip liner category is the category that I have the least amount of products in. So I probably will end up rotating through the lip liner category maybe once or twice, maybe two or three times actually uh, throughout the year. So there's that one. And my last one that I need to update you on, I actually reached my final usage today. Uh, and it's my ColourPop liner in the color Piggy Bank. I use this for the fifth and final use in my Waterland today. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these ColourPop liners. They are going to take me a very long time to get through. It is handy having them like in my collection because they are so cheap and I have a lot of colors in them. But when it comes to anything other than being like putting it or attempting to put it in my waterline. I tried to do like a wing a few times with this and it just snapped off every single time. It snapped off so easily. So when it comes to like trying to do anything other than waterline work, these are pretty useless in my opinion. So I'm just gonna keep keep working through them. I'll just keep working through them. I don't know whether I will ever see the end of one of those ColourPop liners, but we can only try. Those are the three that are rotating out and I'm gonna show you the three that I'm rotating in to replace those. The first one is my Steeler Magnificent Metal. This is a glitter and glow formula in diamond dust. So this is literally just like a chunky silver glitter. And I'm going, to, I'm going to again set five uses on this one. I think this one at the moment is one that I can pair really easily with everything that I have in my and those eyeshadows and my shop my stash at the moment just because it is like literally just a silver glitter so i think it will pair really nicely i do think that i need to probably pop the stopper out and mix it up a little bit might um, chuck some fix plus in there and try and get it working again but i'm going to set five uses on this one then to replace my lip liner i am going to bring in my wayne goss lip liner this is in the color natural berry i haven't used this one all that much so it will it will be nice to get some more use out of this one and decide whether I really actually like the formula or not. I know there's some of you that really like the formula of these ones and there's also some of you that don't enjoy it. So I'll keep you posted. At the moment, I'm leaning towards the camp of I don't like it just because it is quite a dry liner, but I know there's some of you that absolutely love that kind of formula. So that one's coming in for five uses. And then last but not least to replace my eyeliner is this one here. This is from LH Cosmetics or Linda Harberry Cosmetics. This is the liner Atria Flash. I actually rotated this in to my shop, my stash this past week, and I've been really enjoying it. So I thought that I would include it in the project just to try and motivate myself to use it just a little bit more than I am at the moment. It pairs really well with the deep matte blues that I have in my pen, those eyeshadows. And I just thought if I try and at least get five uses on it over the next month while it's in my shop, my stash, I think that's a really great goal to um, try and achieve. And like I said, I think including it 
in this project will just encourage me to use it just a few extra times than I already have or that I was going to already. So next month, I, I really hope that I can do a complete refresh on these three items again, um, based on this past month and how I am tracking with these three products that I am using. Uh, hopefully I can get it done, another five uses on each of these. I would really like to have my cream bronzer up to getting really close to that 50 uses. And I would really like to see the dip be really a lot more noticeable than it already is. The blush stick, I wanna at least get it to between five and 10 uses. That's going to be my goal for the next month. And then same with my glitter glue, maybe just like a handful of times. If I can use this maybe two to three times, that would be fantastic just to keep the progress moving on this one. There you have it. That's my first update on my Partners in Cream. I keep forgetting which one I am filming. That is my first update on my Partners in Cream project pan. Let me know down in the comments box how you're going on your cream products. Are there any that you're currently focusing on or just trying to get some more use out of? Let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you are new around here and you wanna keep up to date on this project and all my other project pans that I'm doing this year, I hope you consider subscribing down below. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope that you are staying safe, healthy, and looking after yourself, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.